Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see the 10th lab program of first PUC computer science. Question is, write a C++ program to input the marks of four subjects, calculate the total percentage and output the result as either first class, second class or pass class or fail using switch statement. In this program we are going to use switch statement. Since in the question itself they have given switch statement we have to use switch statement or else we can write this program in if else ladder also. They have given switch statement we need to use switch statement. So let us see the program now. This is the program. Now here you can see the header files, two header files. One is iostream.h and one more is conio.h. iostream.h is used because you have used C out and C in, in your program. You have many C out and C in in your program. So whenever you use C out and C in in your program, you you, you need to use iostream.h. Next is conio.h. This is used because you have used CLRSCR and getch in your program. Getch is in the last page. Next one is void main. Here void main is Void means it is a data type, space, main is a function. So within the flower braces you have written the function. Next you have declared the variables. So since it is a, here you can see the class range. You have first class, second class, pass class and fail class. First class is between 60% to 100%, second class is between 50% to 59%, past class is 40 to 49, less than 40 it is fail. So now we need to enter the marks to calculate the total percentage. So here we have considered 4 marks, so int m1, m2, m3, m4 is a marks of each subject then you have total then you have choice these are the different variables declared under integer one more variable we have float per per that is percentage you are going to calculate the percentage so you have declared percentage under float so now let us see the C out and C in statement that is input and output statements. So now you have now you have to input the C out and C in statement. So here you can see C out enter the first subject marks. So C in M1 here you are going to enter the first subject marks. Next C out enter the second subject marks. You are going to input the second subject marks. Next, C out, enter the third subject marks. C in M3, that is, you are going to give the third subject marks. Next, C out, enter the fourth subject marks. You are going to input the fourth subject marks. Now, now the formula part starts, logical part starts. So, first, you need to total it. So, total is equal to, you need to add up the all the subjects. You need to add all the subjects, M1, M2, M3, M4. So M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4. So total you are going to do and you are going to store it in total. Now to calculate percentage. So total divided by total number of subject. So total divided by 4.0. 4.0 is total subjects here. Here you are going to calculate the percentage. Now you are going to print the total marks and percentage. 
So total marks is equal to total whatever it is calculated here that will be printed here. C out percentage per whatever it is calculated here that will be printed over here. Next is you need to convert the percentage into choice because case statement switch case statements you have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 choices. So you are going to convert it into 10 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 you are going to convert it. So to convert that you need to divide by 10. So percentage divided by 10. Why we have given integer is here we are going to convert the percentage from floating point to integer point. See out the result of the student is. Now you are going to use the switch statement here. Switch choice. Consider the percentage is 90%. When you convert it here, 90 divided by 10, you are going to get 9. Choice will be having 9. So here, switch of choice. Choice is 9. So it goes to the 9th case statement. Whatever C out statement is there here, that will be printed as C out first class. Consider the choice is 6 now. So it will come out here and it will print first class. Now consider the choice is 4. Switch case 4. So it comes to the case 4, it prints pass class. So this is how switch statement works. You need to give the choice. That particular case choice will be selected over here. Default it is C out. Default it is fail. Now it will come out of the loop. This is the end of the switch case. Here get ch. Get ch will wait for the character pressed by the user until that it will be in the output screen itself. Let us see the out output. So here you can see the output. So see, enter the first subject marks. So the first C out statement here. Enter the first subject marks. Next statement. Next C out statement. Enter the second subject. You have C in M2. So here you have M2. You are going to enter. Next enter the third subject marks. Enter the fourth subject marks. Then total is equal to M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 is there. When you calculate this M1 to M4, you will get 299. Then percentage divided by 4 you have done. So 74.75 you have. Next, this 74.75 will be converted into here. Choice is equal to 74.7 that will be first converted into integer so when you convert it into integer it will become 74 then 74 divided by 10 so 74 when you divide it by 10 it is 7.4 now it will consider only 7 because choice is integer type. So in integer type it will consider only the integer part. It will not consider the floating point. So it will consider only 7. So then it comes to switch choice will be 7. So it goes to the case 7 and it will print C out statement has first class. So here you can see the result of the student is first class. Now consider the second output here you have entering four subject marks. So here are the four subject marks that will be added here. Total marks is equal to M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4. So this subject marks will be added. So you will get 104. So that has to be converted into percentage. So to calculate percentage you are going to divide total marks divided by 4.0 that is four subject. So you will get 26. So 26, you are going to divide it by 10. So you will get 2.6. It will consider only 2. The default 
here you don't have case number 2 so when you don't have that particular cases because switch choice choices 2 so it search for the case 2 here you don't have case 2 so it will print the default statement see out fail so here you can see fail so this is about the program this is how you are going to use a switch statement in your program and print different cases if you like this video please like share it with your friends if you have any doubts please comment it if you need any program explanation you can ask using comment please subscribe my channel thank you